Hi guys, so I got a couple of these Lambda dual output power supplies on Craigslist for really cheap. And the only thing that's wrong with them is that the displays don't work. The power supplies work, but not the displays. Uh, here I fixed the left side already on this power supply, but I left the right side untouched so you can see what's wrong with it, and I can show you how to fix it. <clears throat> so I'll turn it on here, and I'll turn on my multimeter. I have the multimeter hooked up to the right side. As you can see, this left side, the display works and it changes when I rotate the voltage knob. On this right side, though, it's showing like 5.1, it hops around all over the place, but uh, multimeter shows that the supply works just fine. So next, I will take it apart and show you how to fix it. So the first thing I did when I opened up these Lambda power supplies was I checked the voltages going to the display driver chip. Over here we have the schematic that uh, has those power supplies that go to the chip. Um, over here we have a Zener diode regulator that's supposed to provide negative 5.9 volts to the chip and a 5 volt regulator. Um, here's some smoothing capacitors and here we have the transformer and some rectifiers. Uh, so the first thing I checked was this uh, terminal right here which is supposed to be negative 5.9 volts but I was only reading like negative 2 volts or something like that. Uh, so I hooked it up to my oscilloscope and it turns out that this capacitor right here wasn't smoothing that rectified current from that half wave rectifier. Uh, so it turned out the fix is really easy. All you need to do is replace these capacitors because these were kind of worn out too even though it wasn't as apparent and uh, everything worked just fine. I've opened up the power supply now and uh, these capacitors way down here are what are causing the problem. I have uh, another capacitor for one of the other power supplies I repaired and as you can see they're kind of bulging out and uh, leaking so they're pretty much all dried out and uh, I'm also going to replace this capacitor up here just because it's kind of uh, dried out too and uh, not working very well. Here's a close-up view of those capacitors these are 40 microfarad 35 volt capacitors and this one is a 100 microfarad 35 volt capacitor I'll be replacing them with these Nichicon capacitors. Here I'm probing that negative supply line for the display driver chip. And as you can see, that uh, smoothing capacitor just isn't working. It should be a straight line. And there you go, I finished replacing those capacitors. These two are 47 microfarads, <clears throat> and this one is 100 microfarads. Okay, let's turn it on and see if it works. And it looks like it works just fine. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.